Hello everyone, welcome back to GeForce and the NVIDIA booth on the E3 floor. I'm Julian, I'm here with Jason Fader, he's from Night Dive, and he's telling us about a classic come back to life, System Shock. So, what was it about System Shock that you guys felt needed to be brought back and revived? So, the original System Shock is an amazing game. Uh, the, the main villain of the game, Shodan, is a rogue AI that really messes with the player all throughout a space station. Everybody's dead. It introduced the concept of audio logs, which are now a staple of games like Prey and Bioshock. And so, our philosophy is we want to maintain a, as much faithfulness to the original brand as possible, but modernizing where it makes sense to for current gamers. I mean, as game designers, we've learned a lot over the last 20 years, and it would be a shame not to apply those lessons to a reboot like what we're making now. So you guys are working with the original creators as well. What are the main takeaways they've learned in the last 20 years of game advancements? Well, um, the, the biggest bit of feedback is, man, that game's hard, but it was 1994, and all games were really hard back then. That's right. You um, had to mean it to be a gamer back then. <laughs> Everything much. was Dark Souls. We're going to try to recapture, actually, a lot of that. Uh, we're going to assume the players are very intelligent, that they understand how to play a lot of games. We're not going to handhold them, show them exactly where to go in a game. We're going to give them a ballpark idea, but let their brains figure, it, figure out the rest for them. But we did get a lot of really great info, and we're even working with one of the original concept artists from System Shock, Rob Waters, and he's giving us a lot of his ideas, things that he wanted to do but didn't have time to do in the original. And so it's almost like we get to revisit this brand and, and fall in the footsteps of greatness. And it's, it's awesome and overwhelming. So this is a game that you guys took to the public to back, right? You had uh, Kickstarter. So what are uh, contributors being rewarded with for donating to the project? Well, obviously they get a copy of the game. But actually the coolest thing that uh, I get out of them is um, I get to collaborate directly with the fans. So we're running our own Discord server, and it's, it's access only to the backers. And on a daily basis, I chat with them. Um, and I get their thoughts and ideas, uh, what they think about things that we're doing. Uh, it's very important to me to make it a collaborative process when you do a Kickstarter. And uh, the community is really appreciating it. Um, and I don't know, I don't really get out of the house much, so it's just really great to talk to people. Yeah, now you have friends. Yay. Who needs to go anywhere? <laughs> so you guys, if you like the original System Shock but have some ideas for it, check it out on its Kickstarter. Or if you guys never experienced the first one and now you want to see kind of the nascent days of PC gaming brought up to date, great game to check out as well. Jason, thank you so much for talking to us today. Thank you guys for tuning in to GeForce.